Hello, my name is Sarah. I'm a grad student at Indiana University. I study English, specifically rhetoric and composition. And today I wanna to talk to you about five ways that I think grad school has changed me. So I previously made a video about five things that I think um, you should know before starting grad school or that I wish I knew before starting grad school. Um, so today I wanna to talk about five ways that have changed. So let's hop into it. So first, I have become much more caught up in a productivity mindset. So with undergrad, I had a lot of work to do. Um, I had a lot of books to read, essays to write, club meetings to go to, friends to hang out with. Um, but I always felt like I could go to bed at night having everything checked off of my to-do list. In grad school, however, that is just not the case. When professors assign you readings, they're very aware that they're assigning you much more than you can possibly read in the given time between class periods, which was really, really hard for me to deal with when I first started grad school because I never felt like I had everything checked off of my to-do list and I was always going to bed with pages unread, discussion posts unwritten. Um, there was always just more to do and I knew I would have to wake up the very next day and just get right after it and do more and more and more. But it is still really hard when I go to bed at night um, and I have to really talk myself out of like measuring my worth in the amount of stuff that I've accomplished, whether that's pages read or words written, um, to know that I'm doing the best that I can and there's only 24 hours in a day. The second way that I think grad school has changed me is that I am more willing to take risks um, and specifically to risk failing. So a lot of this um, could come possibly with age or other life experiences, but I do think a good chunk of it was from grad school specifically. When I was an undergrad, I was really focused on doing things that I knew I was good at. I was scared to take classes outside of my major because I didn't want them to hurt my GPA, because I didn't want to feel like I was bad at them. I was sort of scared to pick up new hobbies because I didn't like doing things I wasn't good at. It made me feel really bad about myself. But since starting grad school, I am much more willing to say like, this semester I want to try writing about this new topic or I want to try researching this area of the field specifically. Um, and I think that's what grad school is all about, is about taking this opportunity to explore what's out there and to really find what interests you. And you will fail. You will be bad at some things and you will not like some things, but that sort of just comes with the territory. And it is a risk that has really, really big payoff because a lot of the things that I'm interested in now, I wouldn't know that they were ever like passions of mine if I had never allowed myself the space to take that risk in the first place. The third thing sort of goes hand in hand with this and that it's um, I am getting more comfortable at being uncomfortable, specifically in my like initial reactions to things, um, specifically in regards to like reading texts that I don't always immediately agree with. So in undergrad, whenever I read texts that were really like foreign to me, so different in terms of political beliefs or different in terms of the sort of places and personal experiences that they were coming from, I think they really scared me a lot and I didn't know what to do with this discomfort. So my immediate reaction was just to sort of like reject them and to say, this isn't true, this isn't valuable, I don't really need this. Um, and I think that's the way that a lot of students are. Um, and that's one school, that, that's one way that college, especially grad school, has really opened up my mind. Um, and it's really prompted me to sort of do some introspection, some reflection, even some outward thinking of like, why do I feel the way that I feel about this? Why am I scared of feeling that way? Um, what personal stakes do I have in these issues? And I think that this is so, so, so important for learning about social issues, whether that's gender, sexuality, race, to position yourself to be open to hearing things that are different to you and that make you a little bit uncomfortable um, or a lot uncomfortable and that that's how growth happens. And that's definitely one thing that grad school has very much helped me out with. The fourth thing is really, really ironic, but I've thought about it constantly for the last year. And that is that grad school has changed me because I feel like a worse writer. So I did my undergrad degree in English and I minored in linguistics. So I was writing papers all the time. And I also studied Spanish. So I was also writing papers for Spanish. Um, and by the end of undergrad, I didn't feel like I was a super writer, 
but I was proud of the papers that I was producing. I was able to put a lot of time and energy and thought into them. And I was like, yeah, this makes sense. I feel like I'm communicating my ideas clearly. I feel like some of this even includes like pretty writing. I just feel like all of that has gone out the window. And I don't know if it's because I'm under like much tighter time constraints. Like I was talking about, there's not enough time in the day to complete everything. Or if it's because you sort of have to get worse before you get better and maybe I'm like in that transition period from like really taking my writing skills to the next level. I'm not sure, but I really, really do feel like a worse writer. I am less proud of the things that I produce. I feel like they're more rushed. I feel like they're not communicated as clearly. I feel like the thought in them is definitely deeper, but I don't know, maybe that's also contributing to why I feel like my writing is just worse. Hopefully this is something that I come out the other side of when I am done with my um, PhD program because I'm only at the halfway point now. So the fifth and final way that I feel like I have changed since starting grad school is that I am so, so much more aware of my positionality and identity in the world, specifically in regards to my gender and my age. So I always thought of English as a really like feminine discipline and I think sort of it is a feminine discipline. We sort of associate like writing and storytelling with women and sort of like numbers and quantitative data with like masculine traditions and men. So I was, if, I, if my undergrad classes had 40 students in them, which was pretty average for UF, I feel like um, there would maybe be like four or five men in the classes and the rest were all women so i was never like that aware of it i was sort of like yeah i'm a girl this is what i do i study writing and reading um but when i got to grad school that was it's just not the case it was much more um diverse in terms of gender and especially in terms of faculty a lot of my professors and tas that i had in my english classes uh, in undergrad were women and that it was very much just not the case um, in grad school and I realized that even if I was surrounded by women on a daily basis sort of like systemic patriarchal forces exist um, and I just felt like every day I was becoming even more aware of what it means to sort of like occupy a female body um, in both big and small ways and the second thing in terms of age I was not expecting to be um, one of the youngest ones in my program. So I went straight from undergrad right into grad school. I got my BA in May and I graduated and then it went straight into a joint MA PhD program that August. So I really had just one summer gap. And when I started the program, there were already some folks in the program who had their masters. So of course they were just going to be a little bit older. Um, but there were also quite a few people who had jobs or took time off before even starting grad school and i was just not anticipating that um so i was just really really surprised by the diversity of age i thought everyone would be sort of 20 something but that was not the case at all it's hard to tell how much of it was just like me overthinking things how much was like me taking things personally or how much other people were aware of like my age as well but I just felt so young all the time. At this point, I'm not so self-conscious of it, but I had never in my life been so aware of being one of the youngest ones in the room as I had when I started grad school. So that's all that I have, these quick little five things. So I'm very curious to hear from you all. If you are a grad student, how you feel like it has changed you, or if you're a college student, how you feel like college has changed you. So feel free to leave me a comment. I would love to start a conversation with you in the comment section below this video. Um, and please, 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 if this was useful for you, entertaining, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. I make sit down chats about grad school, vlogs about grad school. So I will go ahead and see you in my next video.